can you also talk a bit about what are the ideal use cases for this uh, firewall and you also mentioned there are some customers you may or may not be able to name them but just share some use cases uh, and also uh, when we look at Akamai you talk about the continuum you know of compute you know all the way from you know big data centers all the way to the edge so also talk about the role of firewall in respective of where you're running your workload right right yeah no definitely right so uh, you know, customers get a fast enterprise grade AI security without any complexity of, you know, them trying to stitch things together or multiple tools, you know, all of that, right? And I do believe that we're going to be in, in, in a hybrid world. And what I mean by that is that customers are going to have their current applications that they're running and they're going to introduce more Gen AI and AI applications that, and we're going to live in that hybrid world for a period of time. Uh, I also see some customers, you know, coming out with like, hey, brand new healthcare product or a brand new SaaS product that is fully AI powered, right? Uh, but majority of the customers, at least the enterprise customers, are going to be in a hybrid world for a number of uh, years. And we need protections that are doing both of those simultaneously. And that is where we are uniquely uh, positioned, again, as a as a market leader in a in web application firewall, now expanding a firewall for AI and the different deployment options that we have with the ease of use, we're uniquely positioned, right? Another example of a customer, you know, a global bank, uh, again, looking to uh, do multiple things. One is, hey, you know, I'm gonna go and deploy a, a Gen AI conversational AI agent for my internal you know, call center or my internal user base. And uh, and I need to make sure that I can improve the productivity for everybody. And yes, it is internal to the business, but you still run the same challenges on data poisoning or, uh, you know, kind of insertion of any kind of poisoning or malicious uh, into the model. And then what does that do in terms of if you start to share misinformation, you know, within the company, then ultimately you're going to end up sharing some of that misinformation to your external comp uh, customers, etc. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so we're seeing again like different threat vectors trying to go in different angles. You also see, you know, a lot of opportunities to do uh, AI red teaming or doing attack uh, uh, simulations to make sure that you know pre-production we can deploy certain things with high quality, et cetera. So again, use cases are rapidly evolving. Uh, I believe that Akamai Firewall for AI uniquely positioned to serve uh, in this space. 